Time. So I just decided to come in my parents' bedroom and then in their bathroom and then in their tub. <coughs> but you guys seemed to really, really, really enjoy my what's on my iPhone video. And I just figured out how to do the thing where it's like you don't have to go through shortcuts to like have like an app um, that's like colored or like a different color than usual. So I just wanted to kind of show you guys how because I know that a lot of people like don't know how and I feel like they think that they can't do it but there's a way. Okay, so as you guys can see, this is like the physical app. Like this is like actually the app. Sorry, my thing's a bit slow. But this is my actual app. Like this is my actual account. Like on Pinterest, it's like everything's already logged in. Like there's already like, there's it's the app. And I promise you guys, I'm not scamming you guys or anything. This is completely not really true. Like this is like the physical app. Now. I'm going to show you guys how to get it. First of all, you can click the link in my description or you can go and just type in icon themer and you get this, like the first one right here, this is what happens. But I just thought I'd put the link in my description so then that way you guys can have easy access to it. This is what's going to pop up and you click get shortcut and then you click open. And then you just wait for a little bit. And then at the bottom here, you just scroll all the way to the bottom and you click add untrusted shortcut but i already have two of them so basically now what you want to do is you want to go to pinterest and you want to find a photo for like your app cover which i already have in my photos but yeah then you want to click one of the mountains and you just kind of wait until this pops up okay so there's two ways you can do this if it's like an app that is already in your phone like it's like settings or photos or camera like it's like already in your like phone automatically it's like when you bought it you click system apps and you find the app that you want but if it's not you go to search an app store and then you click let's do youtube and then click done and then you just wait a few seconds and then you click the one that you want to change the icon to then you just click allow and you just keep on pushing that until you get to this you click choose from photos and then you allow them access to your photos and then you basically just find the icon <coughs> and then you click done okay and you just want to keep on allowing until it gets and then you click allow then click close and then click here and it'll bring you to shortcuts and then settings and then you click install and then you And then you just do your password, click install again, and then you're going to click done. And then as you guys can see, I have a bunch of these. And then this little guy will pop up right here. But if you don't want to do that, first of all, you click this and you just zoom in. So if that ever happens, then you just do that. But I just want to show you guys like it's actually the physical app. It's like there's no shortcuts involved. But the only thing is if you're going into apps that already exist in your phone before you download them on the app store like if you wanted to do let's go to shortcuts and you wanted to add an app that was already there like if you're going into like mail it'll go through this one and then it'll go to your real one which to be completely honest doesn't really bug me because it's a lot faster than going through shortcuts in my opinion but all for like the rest of the apps that like 
you download in the app store are completely the same it's just like a custom wallpaper so yeah and screen recording i hope that this helped you guys and i know that you guys really really enjoyed my last video so i just thought i'd kind of add a little shimmy shammy to it and yeah that is like my home screen at the moment and i like literally like did it at like four in the morning last night and yeah so don't worry guys it's completely and utterly safe the untrusted source is completely trustable I did research on it and then i kept it for a few days to make sure i didn't do anything weird to my phone so then i could share it with you guys but i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a like comment and subscribe this video was kind of rushed because I have a class in four minutes, but I just wanted to say thank you guys so, so much for the support in the last video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to share this video with your friends so then that way they don't have to go through shortcuts. And yeah, I hope that this wasn't confusing, but if you guys want me to explain it more in the description or in the comments, just let me know. And yeah. Okay. Peace out, brothers. <laughs>